welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about hair. I've gotten a lot of questions recently, I guess since I've cut my hair, dyed it a couple of times, trying to go blonde, trying, um, and I've gotten a lot of questions on what I use in my hair, how I style it, what I use to make it not look dead. <laughs> you guys have been witnesses of the transformations my hair has been gone through like I think every time I have like this big life event I just want to do something to my hair like I want to chop it or I want to dye it black then I want to go blonde you know like my poor hair first thing I want to mention is the wet brush this is my ride or die brush I even have a mini one for my purse and I keep one at my desk at work as well this is just the best brush to detangle your hair part of preventing breakage you know is has a lot to do with you know, the kind of brush that you use so I definitely recommend this kind of brush. I wouldn't even know a dupe really. I just know that the wet brush is the shit. So definitely need that in my life. So the shampoo and conditioner that I've really enjoyed and have really made an impact on my hair. Um, it's these and these I've mentioned before. These are the Purology Serious <laughs> Serious Color Care Smooth Perfection. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. This is for frizz prone color treated hair which my hair is definitely color treated especially now um, it's 100% vegan ingredients and it's just really great at helping my hair not get all like super dry and just to the point where I want to chop it off like it it keeps my hair smooth and I just really enjoy how it feels like I don't feel like my hair is too um, oily as well I suffer from uh, oily scalp so it's hard for me to find products that are safe for my hair and also clean my scalp really well as well so these are really great they are on the pricey side um, so they're definitely an investment but I feel like I don't know I feel like it's worth investing in your hair at least I feel anyway the other shampoo that I like to integrate into my routine is this one, and this one's by Clairol, and this is the Shimmer Lights Shampoo for Blonde and Silver. I'm almost out of this. Um, this is a purple colored shampoo, and it just keeps your hair from looking brassy. So as I've highlighted my hair, um, it just can tend to look brassy with the chlorine in your shower. So it's good to throw one of these into your routine if you do have blonde hair. It just brings down the brassiness in it. And I've been using this for a long time now. Every time I get my hair highlighted, I pick one of these up. And it just is really great at keeping my hair looking nice and not green or brassy. Um, and I don't use that all the time. I use that maybe maybe tw three times a month like I don't use it often at all it's just one that I have in my rotation whenever I feel like my color is looking a little dull I'll wash my hair with that and it just kind of refreshes it all um, another shampoo that I've started using really recently maybe I don't know how much I've used I'm like down here um, but it's this one and this one is by it's a 10 now all this is really gross because it's all in my shower <laughs> this one's the it's a 10 miracle shampoo plus keratin it's sulfate free now, I started to incorporate a keratin shampoo because um, I'm trying to put strength back into my hair ever since I got it highlighted twice. This is like the second go around from my hair being black. So obviously there's a lot of trauma to your hair when you do that. Um, so I have wanted to add protein to my hair just to strengthen it and prevent breakage. And keratin is the way to go. So this one's, this one's okay. I have noticed that my hair is a little bit stronger. Um, but I haven't noticed like a big, big thing, you know, like a big difference in my hair just by using this. So I do like it. I wouldn't say it's like necessary, but it is nice. And I did find this. What did I get this? I think I got this at Target. Target or Walmart, one of those places. Okay, so those are the shampoos that I'm currently using. I'm going to talk about... Let's talk about a couple of leave-in products that I really like. So I'm going to talk about this one. This one's a Clairol Nice and Easy CC Plus Color Seal Conditioner. This one's for brilliant blondes. Now, I was never allowed to dye my hair when I was younger. Um, I was never allowed to use box dye, at least, because my mom likes to dye hair, so she has her own system. She uses professional hair uh, color. But the few times that I dyed my hair, I remember this conditioner being in there with the color. And after you use the dye, which is really, really harsh on your hair, and you use the conditioner, I just remember it leaving your hair super, super soft. Well, they started making it 
and selling it separately, which is, I think, about time. So this is a nice and easy color care, I mean, color seal conditioner, and it really is super, super conditioning on your hair. Um, the tube, I think, is about five bucks or so, and you can find this right next to the hair care section at, like, Target or Walmart. Um, but it just leaves your hair super, super soft, and it's, you know, it's not the best thing to use in your hair because it's packed with silicones and all this stuff in it, but when your hair is as damaged as my hair was, or is currently, uh, you just need something to just keep it from breaking and just looking alive. So I definitely recommend this. I have a backup. I've already used a whole tube, and yeah. So I don't really use this as a leave-in. I kind of use this as a conditioner. Um, which I have been using it now as a conditioner. I was using it as a mask, but I've just been using it as a conditioner every time I condition my hair. So, yeah. I alternate um, all these things. I don't use them consecutively. That's why I made this video, because I don't use just one set thing. So it's just like, um, well, I use this on that day, and then this day I use that. So, yeah. I'm so high maintenance, guys. Anyway. The next deep conditioner that I really like is this one, and this one's by Bain de Terre. Now, I love, 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 love Bain de Terre products. I'm not currently using their shampoo and conditioner, but I definitely recommend those if you see them um, and you're interested in those. Those are really great uh, shampoo and conditioner. I've used them for years. Love, love, love. So this is the conditioning um, ultra hydrating balm, and what I really like about Bain de Terre is that everything's paraben-free and really, really good for your body and your hair. Now this is, again, a super, super, super nourishing balm. I don't use this too, too often, and I wasn't using it as often when my hair was long because it, my hair is, my scalp is oily, so I was only mainly using it on my ends, and then I stopped using it because my hair was just really oily, so I couldn't use it anymore. But now that my hair is really dry, um, this has come in, this has come in, this has come in handy, and I really, really enjoy it. Um, let me see what it says. Transform overly dry, damaged hair with lasting shine and softness. Deep penetrating balm nourishes with nature. Mm -hmm. You just leave this in as a mask three to five minutes while you're doing everything else in the shower. Really great um, hydrating balm. Okay, what else? Okay, so another leave-in that I really, really like, and this is the one that I've really been attacking, is this one. This one's the Chi. Infra Treatment Thermal Protective Treatment. Now, this was a uh, freaking amazing. The first time that I used it, I was like, holy crap, this saved my hair. <laughs> That's what I said in my head anyway. Um, you just use it like a regular treatment three to five minutes after you shampoo. And holy crap, it just transformed my hair into silk. Like, it just felt so freaking nice. Now, I'm not one to use that much treat. Um, heat on my hair. I do use heat obviously to style it, but not every single day. So I just, I was very skeptical about it because I was like, oh, maybe it only works if you, um, you know, blow dry your hair or flat iron your hair all the time. No, because I, there, because there are treatments where they only activate after you put heat into your hair. Now this left my hair instantly soft, manageable. I was just like, oh yes, yes, yes. Touch my hair, please. I loved it. So this one's really good. Again, Infra Treatment by Chi, a hit. A leave-in treatment that I was recommended by the salon that I go to is this one. This one's by Salerm, Salerm or Salerm Cosmetics, and this is their Silk Protein Leave-In Conditioner. Oh my gosh, this is so good, so so good, and it smells hmm, amazing. Okay, so this is a two-in-one kind of product. You can leave it as a leave-in conditioner. Just apply like a dollop amount into your hair and leave it in your hair and it's just super, super nice and it's easier for you to brush your hair out and just leaves your hair really pretty. Or you can apply a lot of this, a little bit more, I guess, um, and you leave it in your hair and you leave it in for five to 10 minutes and then you wash it out and you kind of use it as a mask. I've used it both ways and holy crap, I need this. Like I can't I can't style my hair without using a leave-in at all, and this one's just been my favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, I like this more than my next leave-in conditioner that I really like, which is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. Um, this one, I feel like it's kind of like dulled down conditioner. I don't know, but that's what I—that's how I see this product. This, I feel like it definitely helps repair my hair. Like it's more than just conditioner. Like I feel like it really 
makes a difference when I use this product. So this one, Salerm Cosmetics, Salerm 21, leave-in conditioner, silk protein, I don't know. It's amazing. It does, it does a lot more than just detangle your hair, which is what I'm all about these days. Okay, now I'm going to talk about styling products. Am I? Yes, okay. I don't really like gel at all in my hair. Um, I just don't like the sticky feeling. So what I've been using lately are these products. Now I'm big, big, big on dry shampoo because I don't wash my hair every day, obviously, especially not now because my hair is super, super dry and sensitive and it's prone to breakage. So I live by dry, dry shampoo. The two that have just become my favorites and I'm just like, I've had many over the years, but now I really can't live without these. <laughs> it's I have two. So I have this one by Sexy Hair and this is a three, three shine, one hold. 3 day style saver dry shampoo and I like this because it definitely absorbs my oils but it just leaves my hair so freaking cool like the texture in my hair it just brings it all out and I'm just able to scrunch and, and play around with my hair and it also gives it some hold so I, I use this like I spray right down the middle because I usually part my hair in the middle and then I'll, I'll leave it in for like I don't know 30 seconds and I'll scrunch and then I'll do it a section here, a section here, and then a section over there. And I just scrunch, 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 and it just absorbs the oils, makes my hair look really clean. I mean, as clean as can look on day three. <laughs> and it gives me really cool texture. So I love this. I have a backup because I love it. And I, I don't know where I got this. I got this in some box. I'm so glad that I got it because I loved it. And this is another one that I got. I think I got this in a Target box, and I really, really like it. This is the Clairol hair food sulfate free dry shampoo infused with kiwi fragrance and I really like this because it leaves my hair feeling really clean and it gives it a really nice fragrance as well so I don't feel weird you know if somebody were to brush up against me on day three like oh my gosh her hair smells like oil no <laughs> I use my dry shampoo and it makes my hair smell really good and it also absorbs the oils it doesn't give my hair as much texture as this it kind of just you know absorbed oils makes it smell good I mean this smells good as well but I really like how it makes my hair feel okay the next product that I really like it's more like a hairspray and this is the Kenra dry texture spray and I really like this for the same thing it you just spray it in your hair not on your eye and um, oh, it smells really good but it just gives your hair like body and just oh, I just love it so yeah this is again a product that just enhances volume and brings out all the texture in your spray. And if you have like a long bob, you want to look for products that give you texture so that you can, you know, play around with your hair. You don't want it to look really flat to your head and just like limp. So I really like products like this. This is again the Kenra Dry Texture Spray. I got a little sample of it just because I wanted to try it, but I, I, you don't, you don't really need too much of it anyway. Um, but I really loved using it every time I style my hair the way that I have it styled right now. Alright, the last product that I have here, I have two products actually. I have the Chi Silk Infusion. If you don't know about this product, you need to know about it. So I really use this only if I blow dry my hair, which is very, very rare. I usually air dry my hair. Um, and I do use it if my hair is air dried as well, but mainly when I blow dry my hair. Because this just leaves your hair looking really silky and it brings out all the shine. But you only need like the tiniest amount of it. You just take a tiny amount, run it through your palms. Put it through your ends of your hair and it just makes your hair look nice, shiny, smooth, love it. Cannot live without it. And this is like almost gone. And the last thing that I have to show you is a hairspray. Um, and this is the Purology Color Stylist Strengthening Control Zero Dulling Hairspray. Hairspray, why did I say it like that? I don't know. This I really like um, for the way that I style my hair currently. It's layered and I like to play around with it. So after I curl it, I just use a regular curling iron. I'll, uh, a wand I just wind my hair and after that I wait for the curls to cool down and then I just run my fingers through it and I scrunch with this so I apply this all over my hair like like a mad woman and then I scrunch 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 and this doesn't leave my hair super stiff like this is day two for me and all I had to do this morning was just like scrunch my hair up because I applied this on the day that I did my hair and I really like it um, it says it's for color treated hair but I don't know it's just 100% vegan, strengthening, anti-fade, complex. I like that it's huge. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have this for a long time. 
Um, but yeah, it's just a regular hairspray. I don't really recommend this one per se. This one's really good, but I'm just saying a hairspray that allows you to play around with your hair, mold it, and not leave it looking stiff or give you that white, nasty thing that it leaves in your hair sometimes. So, yeah. So that's all that I use in my hair. I hope that this was helpful in any way, shape, or form. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see from me next, and I'll talk to you in my next video.